Over 50 years ago, my dad began his career on the Bassmasters Tour, and that's where this story begins. 19 tournament wins, nine angler of the years, but the one that eluded him, the Bassmasters Classic. In 2020, I fished a Bassmaster Open Trail with one simple goal, qualify for the elites. It was a hard fought battle. Many ups, many downs. It came down to the last tournament. It came down to the last cast. Now that I've made the Bassmaster Elite Series, the goals are simple. To win a Bassmaster Elite event and get one of the blue trophies. Fight and claw to win an Angler of the Year title. And the ultimate goal, to win the Bassmasters Classic Trophy, a title that eluded my father for over 50 years. I want to bring that home and finish the legacy. This is Unfinished Family Business. Scott. Yeah. So the water level. Yeah. As at a, as four as of four a.m. this morning. You know what it is? Uh, uh, it just says hot. Doesn't it? Just say hot. <laughs> uh, so what was it the last day of practice? Like that morning. You know what it was? Should <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're like this? <laughs> I mean, you might as well because we're all fishing, quote, blind today, <laughs> right? Okay, let's try this again. Both things, shirt and water level. What is the water level? <laughs> you just let me know when you're ready to talk. It's 820. Oh. It's 12, 12 <laughs> foot high, 15 foot high. <laughs> it's 411.68 right now. What does that mean? <laughs> what was it when practice? You did, that's what I asked you. It said a quiz 408, uh, the discharge. 107,000. Yeah. You know what's predicted to be Saturday? What? 200. 200? Saturday. No, really? 200? There's one. I've never even there. heard of 200. I haven't either. I don't know if that's safe. All right, so today is going to be a challenging day. They all, they're always challenging, right? We don't know what this weather is exactly going to do. We've got some predictions. Rising water. Crazy amount. I just got to Googling maximum CFF and Pickwick. I don't know what the most ever is. If anybody knows what the most ever that's ever flowed through here, let me know. But 200,000 is a lot. I know that's a lot. I've never been in 200,000 cubic feet per second. But guys, come along with me. Come along with me in this journey and let's figure out how to catch some Pickwick bass. We gotta get day one. We gotta get started. Let's go. Come on. Message from Bass. Due to increased flow and sustained winds out of the west southwest at 15 to 20 and 30 mile an hour expected gusts, tournament officials have decided to postpone day one until tomorrow. So we're done. Uh, and you will fish Monday. Oh, we're gonna fish Monday. Day four will be on Monday. Wow. Everybody's cranking up. Everybody's cranking Oh my got gosh. It. I had a feeling, dude. Well, but it's like. I, I mean, just fish today. I mean, that's just me, but I get it. Well, I wanted to fish today, but it was gonna be a different lake, 100%. It's still gonna be different. Okay. So. It's gonna be so different. We need to go do some homework. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Don't go anywhere yet. I don't even know what to say. We gotta move, we're gonna get run over. We're gonna get run over. Well, day one is uh, postponed. We've been talking about the current, we talked about the weather. You saw in the practice video how bad the weather was here with the rain and the wind. And the main reason for the cancellation from what we know at this point is that the wind, okay? We have current right now going by this harbor 
probably at like six miles an hour. Seven miles an hour. Seven miles an hour. <laughs> and then we have 25 mile winds today blowing out of the southwest, which is against the current. So that builds those waves up. So literally, literally down there, mid lake, it could be like five and six foot waves, like tremendous waves and current. If you have a problem, you know, it could be a bad deal. So they're they're erring on the side of caution. I don't know how to feel about them canceling today. I mean, I, I mean, I get it, but I knew I knew tomorrow, or I know tomorrow is going to be a much higher situation, a much more changing situation than even today. So, you know, I need to figure out what to do today. I don't know if we'll mess around and go fishing somewhere, just to, like at Wilson or some other little lake, or we'll just. Literally, what I probably need to do, to be honest with you, is get on, on Google Earth today and really spend some time looking at different water levels, history and stuff, and try to find some current breaks and some different things like that around that these fish may get up behind because this water is going to continue to rise and a lot more current even tomorrow. So, $1,000 pot. He said 500 Well, I'm saying 1000 because I got good waypoints Maybe over there. Was 500 a boat. I mean a bird. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so Canterbury and me versus who? You and McCoy? Me and Dave. No, McCoy's good. No, Dave. I, I vote McCoy. I got Dave. Dave. Smallmouth Dave. Small. No, you can't be. You can't, <laughs> can't be ordering <laughs> some local. <laughs> you realize? <laughs> you realize what we'd catch today? Like for real? Uh, like I'll, I'll call him this morning, but dude. It wouldn't be fair because y'all go up there and sit in that stupid. I, I mean, dude, we can go catch him today. He'll take his boat out. Dude, trust me. If you want to, I'll call him in a minute. We'll destroy 26, 7, 26 27 pounds of smallmouth today. In his John boat? No, he'll just be <laughs> sitting there next to He'll He'll pull up and he'll say, spot lock right there and cast right there. That's what he does. Smallmouth day. Yeah. It's the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. That's Jacob down. He's sleeping. <laughs> Just sitting in the truck. He's it. sleeping. He got scared. He's fixing scared. Look at him. He said, uh. Come on with both hands, did he? He went and stabbed himself in the eyes with his thumbs. He was like, oh. All right, this will be a great video. Our video. People are going to like this more than they're going to like the fishing. They're going to be like, dude, y'all should just hang out in the parking lot more often. Yeah. Oh. Matt Airy. Nice to good see to, you. Good, good to meet you. Yeah. So I'm trying to find. Have an autograph. It's seen him in like a month. Yeah. Hey, I hook you up. Wait, is that Gerald? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> got, he's a lot older than me. Gee, you got one of them Toyota hats? This guy, he's a lot older than me. There's this old dude on the dock this morning. I guess he was a marshal, but he looked like he was about 75. You, he said, he said. It was so funny. Hey. I mean, I didn't know he's talking to me. Yeah. I'm out there in the middle floating around. And he said. Hey, Toyota. I'm like, she said talking to me. I looked over on Doc and he said, yeah. He said, Gerald? I said, no. <laughs> and I just kept both, going. Y'all both have a gray beard. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to tell you apart when you He's got yeah. a little more gray. I have noticed a little more gray. Y'all making me self-conscious about my beard. I'm gonna have to get a Sharpie. That's what I used to do. Out. Used to do. <laughs> <laughs> I just cut it off now. Hey, you got, look at this. Now that's cool, like, no, it turns sideways, like, Sideburn with white highlights. Now that's, that's cool. That's I silver. did that, dude. I colored that's it that way. <laughs> Don't they call it a silver fox? Did you get something? Jake on there with a like no. a like a white out pen? They say they, they say that silver fox looks good on a older man. Makes it look smarter. Yeah. I'm only 32, dude. They I don't know why I got it. What are we looking at here? Restaurants? Yeah. It's fixing to get pretty and sunny and it's gonna be bluebird tomorrow. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're not gonna bite at all. They're biting. They're biting right now. I doubt it. They didn't bite for me. They're biting. Three days, so. <laughs> yeah, we'd smash them today. Today would have been a good day. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be another two foot higher. At and, least. <laughs> and bluebird and cold. Oh, what, what do you call this? Hey. I mean, it's not cloudy right today. Now, 
Well, when you woke up this morning was the high. It's gonna be right. forty something this evening. Yeah, fifty. So forty nine. Sixty evening. when we woke up. Fifty when we checked in today is what I saw. Big bag breakfast. It's right here, dude. Big bird I breakfast. Think it's right out there. It's right out here. I don't yeah. know, but something. No, field. it's right here. Huh? I don't know what to get. Like I, I don't. Dude, it's really, it's really intimidating. There's like so I want options. shrimp and grits so bad. Who's gonna get a cat head biscuit? What's a cat head biscuit? Just a big homemade biscuit. Top, top of the biscuit. I might get that one. Yeah. Old bacon, son. It's an old bacon. Okay. Right here. I still make this a minute on the shrimp and grits. That's fine, yeah. Like I said, biscuit. Spicy bacon for you, too? Mm, don't think so. Who else had spicy bacon? There's another order of spicy bacon somewhere. Cat head biscuit. Might be the best. Y'all buy this? Yeah, I'll have some. All right, so it is 4.08, day one that was postponed, canceled, and I'm staring at my phone because we still haven't received an update. We, well, I take that back. We, we have received a couple updates, but basically they're waiting. Um, I heard there's a meeting scheduled for 4.30. The first update was at 10.45. Due to the increase in water levels, we are working with TVA and our local host for all possible options. Please be patient. We will get you an answer ASAP. That was at 1045. 1.09 p.m., message from Bass. We are waiting on an early afternoon update from TVA before we make any further decisions. We are doing everything we can to make this event happen. Thanks for your patience and understanding. That was at 1.09. Now it's 4.09 and uh, still waiting. So we will see. And as soon as I know, everybody in this house will know. Because apparently I'm the only one that receives texts. Scott's over there sleeping. And every time he hears my phone ding, he goes, Hey, did you get an update? Did you get an update? So, oh. look, <laughs> I think he responded. <laughs> nap time. <laughs> All days nap Do list. Oh. Breakfast, nap. Truck wash, nap. Rig tackle, nap. Check weather, nap. Rig more tackle, nap. So you've done two of those. Yeah, I'm in... I'm in uh, it's Actually, I think I'm. I already passed the rig more tackle, and then this is nap. All right. Well, we have an update now. Update is uh, kind of stressful, dude. I've been sitting around this house all day. I've taken seven naps. I've rigged tackle, and and literally, I don't even know what to rig. But we have an update. We have an update. Tell them what the update is, Matt. The update is it's 6.41, and I still haven't eaten dinner, so I'm looking for sushi bars on my phone right now. That's a good oh, you update. mean the legit like, tournament update? Yeah, that's update. right, tournament update. Tournament update is um, we don't have a really <laughs> another update. So we've been waiting all day, and we get an update that says tomorrow is now canceled. So day two of the tournament is now canceled, postponed, whatever you want to call it. And the plan, tentatively now, is to start on Saturday – Possibly fish a three-day event end on Monday, but it could go to Tuesday. So, <laughs> oh God, this is crazy, dude. <laughs> this is crazy, huh? It's wild. All right, so the, here's what we're gonna do because this is like the longest video ever. We gotta figure out what to do tomorrow. We can't sit around, dude. So we're gonna take y'all on a little adventure. It's not sure what yet. We're going fishing somewhere. We'll go to uh, well, we Wilson. Wilson we'll go there. We'll take y'all along for take a little the truck car boat. Little little adventure. That's what we'll do. All right, time to go get some sushi. Look at that transition. Did you see that, dude? That was awesome. That's you like made everybody drunk. <laughs> that is like that is awesome, dude. No, they're not, they're gonna be wondering like, what kind of program is that? All right, so you know we're been in this like infinite delay. We're not sure. I think the tournament's gonna go on tomorrow unless we get a, some kind of phone call that you know delayed again i'm not real sure but i do want to say one thing guys everybody needs insurance right i have insurance for my car i have insurance for my home i have life insurance and policy genius is a sponsor of this video they are sponsoring this video they're sponsoring this entire series now policy genius you ask yourself what is policy genius policy genius is an online marketplace that will help you find some of the best rates for insurance out there in the market. So, insurance like home, auto, 
or life. I've used it for life, which worked out really well for me. So I went to policygenius.com, checked it out, added in all my information. It was a real simple, easy process. An expert called me. We discussed different rates, different things. That Now, here's the best part. I don't like doing paperwork. I hate paperwork. Like, literally hate paperwork paperwork. The experts at Policy Genius, they do all the paperwork for you. They do all the negotiating with all of the insurance companies out there to find the best rates that they can find. So guys, here's what I'd like for you to do. Check out Policy Genius. Do me a favor. Do me a huge solid. Check them out. Again, with Policy Genius, guys, you can save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. That's right. 50% or more. So check it out. Thank you, Policy Genius, for all of the support. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully we get to go fishing. I hope we get to go fishing. Yo, Matt! What you doing, Matt? Alright, well we just we just got back from Sushi. Susha, we got the boat put back in, and that was a fun day on the water. I'm glad that Matt actually caught some fish today. I did. I cannot wait for everybody to see that video <laughs> of today's fishing trip on Wilson Lake. Right, it was somewhat of a, nah, it wasn't a beat down, but it was good. It was a good day. You wanted that. Good for you the won. brain. You won. I did. I let you win, by the way, but anyways. Hey, <laughs> what is, what is all, oh, oh, look at there. Just hard at work. Ah, oh, sushi. Yes. There's a lot, dude. Really? Yeah, you ordered five rolls or four rolls. I'm oh, crazy, dude. I haven't eaten anything all day. Y'all left me to start. All right, so that was a fun day, guys. Day one of the tournament will start in the morning. And uh, finally, this is like Twilight Zone to me a little bit because we have been here now for a long time. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's gonna be sunny all day. Not a cloud in the sky. All right guys, well we're back again where it all kind of went down two days ago. It feels like I was here a week ago actually. So, you know, as you all know, we sat around for two days Kind of, kind of getting an idea of what this water's going to do, what the weather's going to do, etc. You can see behind me, I don't know if you can tell, but the water is really, really high. It's only within a maybe a foot and a half of going up into this parking lot, two foot of going to this parking lot. So we're going to go for it today, guys. No idea what to expect today, but it uh, it's going to be interesting, kind of fun at the same time. What y'all gonna do today, man? Uh, I'm gonna go back and take a nap. And then we're gonna get some food. And then maybe I'll nap again. And I'm gonna check Bass Live, make sure you're catching them, tearing them up. It's gonna be a good day. It'll be a good day. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, <laughs> be fun. Buckle up, boys. You're along for the ride on this one.
That's a big one. Jam! Oh, that was a freaking five pounder, dude. Guys, I don't know, man. If we can get another bite right in here or not. I know we can. We just got to figure out where they are. There he is. Fifteen, right? Yeah. That's a big one, dude. Yeah. I'm measuring him, dude. Four and a half. We might not be leaving here, dude. I'm telling you. We make the right little adjustments in here. As silly as it sounds, dude, I can win the tournament right here. That's 15. All right, number two. Two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. Did you plan this or is this just spur of the moment? It's just spur of the moment. It was just in my head. I said it right before I got in the boat. I said, man, I feel like I need to start right here. My son's like, let's go with your instinct. I was going to run down and then if they weren't biting, come all the way back up and then run all the way down. That's 18 miles wasted times two. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a big one, dude. That's a big one. God, <laughs> smallest one yet. It's a big one. It's a giant. He hit like a five pounder, though, dude. Oh, God. There he is. This might get a little interesting here, dude. This was an audible, guys. It's an instinct thing. Oh, one just hit it. You know, it's it was a blessing, really. I just kept looking at all this current, thinking all that current's coming down that river, 200,000, almost record levels, right? It's gonna push fish over here. It gotta be. It's flooded. This is the closest thing to a Mark Pack fishing picnic table spot right here. This is from a buddy. From my buddy Mark. Three, three and a quarter. So that's five. Is that right? Yeah. What's my small one, too? Crazy story. Quick one. Back, D boy Duckett won the tournament. It's the first tournament he ever won. It was in the fall here. I was on a ledge down there by Kroger Island, anchored. I had to anchor my boat with a rope and everything. When a barge would come by, it was the only time they would school. These big, giant smallmouth would come up and blow up. And I'm not kidding you, they're all over five pounds. Every, every fish in the school is over five pounds. 
I hooked, I hooked five or six that day, fighting them like a grouper. I had to go to the back of the boat and I'm pumping them because I'm anchored. I lost all of them, I zeroed. My co-anchor caught three that weighed 15-10. Won the tur no, he's 17-10. Three that weighed 17, he won the tournament. Never caught another fish the rest of the tournament. They're just down current, they were, they were pulling 200 like this and I was fighting them back there, and they're jumping and jumping and jumping. And it was on a top water. Anyways, go out the second day. I land three that weighed 1510. I had a five even, another five even, and a 510. But I should have had 25 a day, like legit. But they would only bite when a barge would come by. I still finished like 13th in the tournament with four fish that weighed 17 something for the whole tournament. Boyd won it with like 39 pounds or something. That's back when Pickwick really sucked. All right, we're gonna go. All right, guys, well, it's a good little start, right? I don't know what I am exactly have, but it's a good start. Now it's time to go find more stuff because I'm gonna need it. You guys are gonna wreck them today. I think it's a good one. Nah, not a good one. He didn't help me. Ah. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. little though. <sighs> two sixty. I know where you look at it, it's two sixty. So it's two sixty. That's it, right? Yep. I saw some fish on the graph. There he is. Oh god he smoked it. Oh he's going oh, there and just destroying it. There he is. Feels like a better fish. Oh yeah. Cool, dude. We found another little wad, dude. Found another little wad. Three pound or whatever. Three oh four. Three oh eight. Alright, this one's two seventy three. big oh my gosh yeah that's a big one that's a big one well he's bigger i should say pretty good one that's 330 number four 306 oh i don't i don't know man i don't even know no, it can't be. He's swimming at me. This is crazy, man. Right, guys that is a wrap that is officially it that was fun i don't know if we i mean i guarantee we didn't put all the fish catches in this video because it would make the video really really long but we whacked them 
a lot of fish, you know, just didn't whack any big ones. I don't know why that's so crazy. I won't be leading, but I won't be in last. I do know that. Scott Canterbury and just two anglers in a row. I don't say it often about John Cox and I definitely don't say it often about Scott Canterbury, but one fish today for two pounds, 11 ounces in a tournament that I know you had to be looking forward to. I mean, they, the changes had to had obviously hurt you here today, but I know you can make some changes and get it right tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, they did. I was looking forward to it when the schedule come out for June. Really, I was really excited. I've got several top tens here in June, but uh, I've never been here this time of year. Did get on a little bit of a bite before all this water, and uh, I don't know. I, I tried hard. I, I ran that Skeeter Yamaha all over the place. I burned almost a full tank of gas, probably $100 worth of gas, trying to figure this place out today. It was like a practice day all over again. It wasn't for lack of effort, and it wasn't for lack of my equipment being not good. I just didn't catch them. I take the blame, but I'll get them tomorrow. Strange day, you know. I mean, I ran all over the lake from one end to the other, back and forth, and uh, just never could figure out what was going on. Never did get many bites. Had a couple of bites. I lost one good one and caught a keeper. So, uh, obviously, go back, regroup, change it up, and go after them again tomorrow. Seven-time FLW Tour winner, the 2011 Forestwood Cup champion from Coolston, Florida, Scott Martin. Five fish for Scott Martin put on a clinic early on today. Five all alive, 18 pounds, five ounces with 18.5 for the second tournament in a row. Scott Martin finds himself in the top 10 on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Got yourself on a bit of a roll the last tournament and uh, it looked like it literally picked up right where it left off uh, first thing this morning. Yeah, I made a, I made a last minute. I mean, literally my son, my son was standing next to me I was walking to my boat and I said, you know, I think I need to do something. And he said, you know what? Go with your gut. Go with your gut. And I literally jumped in my boat, tied two different baits on. I was about 10 boats late. You were looking at me funny. And uh, it was ended up being a good call. But that worked out real well. It kind of gave me some breathing room this morning. It allowed me to kind of go practice today and find some more fish. And I caught several more. So it was a lot of fun. Pickwick's is a special place. And it's going to take a pretty special three more days of bags to win this thing. So just... Uh, it was awesome. Lord bless me today. An awesome start to the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Scott Martin. Let's bring up a two-time classic qualifier, a two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. Matt Airy dealt with a whole bunch of different issues today. Happy to have him back here safe. Two fish, five pounds, 12 ounces. And man, there's just some days that wish you could get a do-over a mulligan if it's in golf but unfortunately yeah. in fishing we have day two to recover i guess it is the game we play you know it's a mechanical difficulty set us back but you know that's part of it um we're gonna go over here slide over here to mercury trailer thank goodness for those guys uh see what's up get it fixed and go back out for day two i know you'll get them again tomorrow we look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow always in contention it seems all right so 18 five or so we kind of thought we had more at first. This morning I wasn't weighing them, obviously. And when we started weighing them and I started calling, I started backing that down a little bit. But boy, well, that was a lot of fun. You know, it, it, tomorrow's going to be a challenge. It, it always is. Even though I found a bunch of new fish today, i still got to go out and find new fish tomorrow. Hopefully catch some of them here in the morning. That'll give me some breathing room. Uh, all in all, good day one. I'm not going to be leading, obviously, but I should be somewhere towards the top 15 or 20, which is good and um, looking forward to tomorrow. So it was a lot of fun. It's, uh, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do for dinner tonight? That's a good question. Hey, by the way, for all y'all that live in Alabama, right around here, drop a comment below and let me know what is your favorite restaurant here in Florence area? What's your favorite restaurant? Let me know. They caught him. I think I'm in 13th place. 
which I knew I wasn't going to be leading. I knew 25 was going to. I knew 25 was going to be leading, and it's all smallmouth. So to catch all smallmouth, 25 pounds of them, pretty much have to do that at the tail race. So some guys caught up there. That's for sure. Today, you saw it, that right there, which I just put new 17 pound P-line on that one. I rigged up a three quarter ounce, just because, so I'm a little different. And then there's that chatterbait. Look at the hell that thing is destroyed. And uh, I don't know if I can catch them on this today, but I'm gonna throw that a little bit more tomorrow too. So what do I have to do tomorrow? You know, realistically, I need another 18 or 19 pounds to probably stay in the same position. Because I think a lot of those guys are going to catch them just as good. And I think a lot of guys that didn't catch them today, very good, are going to catch them better tomorrow. Now that being said, it's a little hard to make up ground here because Today I caught a lot of fish, but there's not a lot of big ones. You can go out there and catch 20 fish, basically have like 12 pounds, 13. So, guys that didn't catch them today, it's going to be hard to make up ground. Good morning, sunshine. I can sing, dude. I'm waiting. I can't. I, and I try all the time and people, I know people like, they cringe whenever I do it because it's cringy. It's a cringe moment of the week right there when I start singing. I've done Kenny Rogers a couple of times and he's pissed. He, is he still around by the way? Or did he die? You know that, we, we were just talking, Matt and I were just talking this morning about, <clears throat> this is an interesting, interesting thing to think about. Scary at the same time too. It's all about decisions, right? So like you say to yourself, oh, fishing's just fishing. Fishing's just go out there. And you either catch them or you don't. You know, it's just you're, you're either a good fisherman or you're not. It's nothing to do with that, really. It really doesn't at this level. We're all good. We're all capable. We all have the same lures. We all have the same boats. For the most part, we all have everything going on. We all have the same sonar now. We all have forward-facing sonars. It's all even, right? It's all... Now, now, what does that mean? That means it's all right here. Yesterday morning, to take off. And literally... Idle out of the area there and just start fishing, which was a good call because I caught you saw you caught all those fish. What that bag meant to me is it gave me breathing room to settle down and go practicing. Right, bounced around. We did in a pocket. We did out of the pocket. We did we did the grass. We did the mud water. Like we kept, you know, like like a practice day. Right, trying to figure it out, and then boom. We started finding them, and then I was able to smash on them pretty good in the afternoon. So that gave me to what I have. But if it would have been the other way, where I went to the grass first, not caught anything, came back up maybe and fished the riprap, probably not caught anything because it had been 10 o'clock. Yeah, that was a definite critical early yeah. morning deal. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, it's 11 o'clock, and I'm on one or none. Then you start to spin out a little bit, and then my brain doesn't figure out how to find those fish that we found yesterday. My brain then is in, we got to salvage the day mode. And salvage the day mode sometimes works, and sometimes it doesn't. It, you know, on a deal like this, where you have extreme weather conditions and extreme conditions, water conditions, it's feast or famine, right? I mean, you either catch them or you don't. And that's kind of what happened to a lot of guys yesterday. So. We going far? Dude, I would bundle up, like with every, everything you got on. Put all, like mask, gloves, the whole everything. I can tell when he's when he's uh, blowing oh. smoke at me. Seven, Seven time MLW Tour winner, winner. Three, 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 three twenty one in Florida. Scott Hurt. Three twenty five. Three twenty five. Come on, Hayden, you got it. That's a far run, dude. <laughs> I'm not 
sure what to do here. Move out of the way. I'm not gonna look if you cast. I don't think they're in there. What's up, Scott? I'm talking to the camera. Oh, sorry. I'm talking to them, not you. Oh. <laughs> you know what's cool about that, Scott? You're never alone that way. I know, it's to get my buddies with I me. I talk to myself when I'm alone, but at least you have an excuse yeah. of talking to the camera. Now I don't seem crazy. <laughs> no, right here's fine. I just don't want to cast over you, man. I'll, I'll, I'll get out of here and leave you alone. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I'll just make this cast here. It's, See, if they're not biting in 10 minutes, I'm going to probably leave. They don't seem to be biting because yesterday morning they were biting. I mean, you'd, you'd, have, caught, you know, you'd have caught them. I don't, see any, I don't see much happening. There's a big one right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Cool. What just happened right there? Well, I just boat flipped the freaking five in your lap. Right That's what just happened. It's all over you. I love the smell of bass in the morning, Scott Martin. Look at that. Dude. Heck yes. Rally monster. Dude. Yeah. Dude, that thing that thing was in your lap, bro. It was. That, that all was, in your lap. That's the best piece of bass I had all week, Scott. Golly, that's a tank. Did you get that? Were you hitting record? I started here this morning and made a few casts, but the boats were driving by, and I made that same cast and hooked a Walmart bag, and the bag was fighting, and all I saw was white in the water, and that was the same thing feeling. I was like, I got another bag, and then it jumped. <laughs> I was like, bags don't jump. <laughs> now I'm hung up in the sweet spot. Oh, oh I broke my line. My chatterbait's gone, dude. That was special. All right, I gotta get serious now. I'm gonna get quiet for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. I gotta get five in the box. There he is, big one. We found them. We found them, dude. Look at that brown one. Dude, there's gonna be a bunch right here. Yeah, Four pounder. Heck yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and you know what that is? That's the cut, my friend. Yes, sir. I made the top 50 cut. Oh, there's another big one. All right. <laughs> Dude, we might not be leaving today. I don't know. When you get an opportunity to start catching smallmouth on this place, that's multiples of fours and fives. Now, this is just a little one, but I'm just going to tell you, I could get a. This is how you get a mega bag. Yeah. This is how you you can win the tournament. Right here, I'm sure this is 15. Fifteen. Oh yeah, he's way over 15. It's number three today. Number three. Number three. Scott Good God, man. You're a Gerber, Scott. Keep it under. You're a genuine Gerber. I like Gerber, picnic right? table. You know why do they like picnic tables? Little known fact. No. But I want to tell them. All the leftover, like nuggets, mm -hmm. Happy Meal nuggets, Chicken nuggets and, and French fries. And all that stuff. That, They're down there. Looks like super size. Yeah. That's a big one. Hey, my jacket, dude. Why did you let him go in my jacket, man? Why did you do that? <laughs> I you let him go in my jacket, dude. The smell will make you catch more. Golly. I need a new marshal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All day. All day, sir. I mean, dude, I had, I had an inch to spare.
You know how many that is now, Scott? It's five, my friend. Five! Five brass. Five brass limit! You're a derber. Heck yeah. Get some of that, Scott Martin. Right there. That's how we do it. Good one there. Five pounder. Really? There he is. Big enough. Yeah, it's a big one, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one, dude. This is a big one. It's shaking its head and everything. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, good call. No, big large mouth. Wild bucket face. Dude. Wild bucket face. We, 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 we build the belly. The belly. Oh, the belly. Oh, I blew my pants out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, that's like a five pounder, bro. Dude, you did well. You did well for yourself. Uh, got rid of that. For that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a call. Three, four, five. Okay. There it is. That's officially a lot of weight, dude. Yeah. They're a big one, dude. Big and freaking giant. Giant. Oh my gosh, dude. It's a five pound small mouth. Got a large mouth. Cool. Dude. Dang, Scott. Dang. Bro. You're bro. Dude. Bro. Down. That's how you call it, bro. That's a game. That's how you play the game, Scott Martin. That's how you play the game. Guys. Wow. Did you have that? That's cool. There he is. What do I got? Catfish. Big catfish. Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't want to lose this thing. Ah. This sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But it might be like a hundred pounder. He's big, bro. I'm telling you, like 100 pound big. Like that big? Yeah. Yeah, like, like, wait till you see this thing. Like, like, freaking, like, oh. Oh, oh my God. 
no freaking way. Yeah. That's he ate it too. I know. Wow. Big. I put my hand in there, it kind of scared me. Uh, Remember when that river monster guy thought he was cool? Guys. Guys. What up, King Cat? Golly. Got my bait back. Oh, guys, we made it in. We made it in. What a great day. You know, when I started this tournament, we started fresh. Like, we had no idea what to expect. We had no idea what was uh, going to be going on with these fish. But we made good decisions. And I prayed every day that I would just understand the lake, right? Just fish confidently. So, so far, so good. Um, did a lot better than yesterday. And uh, we still got a long ways to go. So it's halftime right now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I moved up a few spots. Keep myself in contention. Guess what? I'm not going to be filing a complaint today on you. No. You nope. did good, man. No, thanks, dude. You did good. Yeah, I zeroed again. This is my second day. I didn't catch any fish, but I had a great time. All right, let's go weigh these guys in. It is day number two, the guaranteed rate, Bassmaster Elite. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's get ready to win! The 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Kennebury. Tough day yesterday, but champions rally, and he definitely did that. 211 yesterday, 20 pounds, 4 ounces. Today gives him 22 pounds, 15 ounces. What a rally on day number two. Yeah, like I said yesterday, it was definitely anytime you can fish in the state of Alabama, but you can fish it. Pickwick, Garnersville, any of these Tennessee River lakes, they're just unbelievable. They're world class, they got fish everywhere. And they, yesterday, I just couldn't run into them. I tried to make it happen where they did during, where I was getting bit during practice out on the river and that, the lake came up six or seven foot, the current just got too much. They left and I didn't, I didn't move with them. Finally today, I caught up with them a little bit and had a great day, had a good time. It's awesome to see a crowd, I appreciate it guys. We appreciate you. Wow, what a rally. Let's hear it for him as he makes his way off the stage. Keep the noise coming. Yeah, day two, made a good comeback. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just struggled yesterday. Never did run into him. Today, I started out flipping. I caught a couple. I flipped up a five-pounder and uh, settled down. Didn't have a limit, but I finally ran into him. Uh, caught a bunch of fish. It was a blast all day long. Showing what Pickwick's made of was today. So. Uh, gonna be pulling for Scott to win this thing the rest of the week and uh, run away with it so I'll be hanging around watching there's a smallmouth hill Guys, we, we cracked them. I didn't really look in those, that bag until it's been a while. Look at that thing. She's a beaut. That's a beaut right there. <laughs> Houston, Florida. Scott Martin. Scott Martin, a former Forest Wood Cup champion. His first season here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Hot up his first top 10. At our last event, had 18.5 yesterday, 5 today, 22 pounds, 13 ounces. With 22.13, it gives him 41 pounds and 2 ounces. And 2 is the trend because he moves into second place currently. Oh, today was a blessing, I tell you. You know, we, we, we all were in the same boat. We had to kind of relearn this lake due to this weather and the water and the current. Made a really good decision yesterday and kind of followed that up again today. Uh, you know, I, I caught fish from, from right right out here all the way down almost to past Bear Creek today. And they're starting to show up. Those bigger fish are starting to pull up. So I think I think tomorrow you're going to see, I hope I can catch a big bag, but I think you're going to see a lot 
a big bag's weighed in tomorrow. These fish are starting to set up, and these guys are starting to figure them out. So uh, it was a true blessing today. It was, I had a lot of fun, and I want to say hi to my wife and my girls are at home watching right now, and and uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Great to have you in the lead series, and great to have you in second place in this tournament. Let's Thank hear it for Appreciate Scott it. Martin. How about that, 22, 13. That's like almost 23 pounds. And caught that big one this morning right there, guys. Like literally right there, six and a half pounder. That's a big one. Boat swung it too, I couldn't believe I did that. I thought the thing was only six, but six and a half. That's a big one. So I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I just hope I can catch them again tomorrow. Maybe catch them a little better. I'm, I'm gonna have to, because these guys are catching them. Everybody's figuring it out. We had a lot of 20 pound bags weighed in tomorrow, guaranteed. So, uh, came back a little bit. We had 13 pounds a day. Only had four fish. I uh, had my fifth one hooked, and just uh, it just wasn't my day. But uh, after yesterday, we'll take it. You know, I was glad to be back up and running. Big shout out to the guys down there at the Mercury Trailer, Scotty, and and that crew. Man, we could not do it without them. Uh, big thanks to them. So, tough tournament for me. Um, but hey, we salvaged some points today, and that's that could be critical at the end of the season. Oh, oh felt good though. Six and a half pounder right off the bat. Like literally, <laughs> boat swung six and a half pounder. <laughs> That's really crazy, actually. And then I caught several more big ones. So, I, you know, I didn't catch as many fish today, but a little bit better grade. So it's gonna take a big bag tomorrow for me to stay in the top 10, at least 20. I bet there'll be, tomorrow, I bet there'll be 15 bags over 20 pounds tomorrow. Maybe even 20 out of 50 boats. That's what I'm thinking. So, that being said, I got a lot of thinking to do. And I want to thank you so much for uh, supporting us on this video. I want to thank you so much for um, dropping comments, liking the video. Um, again, let's try to get this video to over 5,000 likes if you don't mind. So, smash that like button, please. Thank you so much for doing that. And subscribe to the channel. So, uh, huge shout out to Policy Genius again. For supporting us and sponsoring this video and sponsoring this series so uh, guys be sure to check out policy genius we're going to drop a link in the description down below but i would love for you guys to go check it out if you guys want to check out insurance rates get the best rates possible uh, be sure to check out policy genius the experts there can help you out i've used them i think you should give them a shot so guys thank you again for the support and we're going to leave it right here because we're going to start a hold of the video Day three, which is tomorrow, will be a whole other video on the channel. And uh, we're going to take it to the next level, guys. So, thank you. Peace! That was Hillary. Yeah, Hillary's. <laughs> that was Hillary. That was Hillary's. Hillary, just throw your clothes. Bam!